are at Lou's Garden Center. Let's head on in. All right, let's see what we got from my garden. We are looking for kales and cabbages, the ornamental type. And any pretty flowers we may have seen along the way. Ooh, what's this? Is this a dianthus? It is a dianthus. Do I need dianthus right now? I think I did dianthus last year, so I don't want to do them this year again. No dianthus. All right, I see mums. Are these smaller mums? This purple one is pretty. Ooh, yep, we got small mums, small mums. All right, so this is what I'm looking for. These are pink. I see orange, pink, and yellows. Okay, we have options. I got some more peppers, the ornamental peppers. These are bigger. I don't need the bigger ones. These are seven ninety eight. How much are the smaller ones? Let's see. The smaller ones are $4.98 and the bigger ones are $7.98. Well, medium sized ones. Do I need medium or small? Hmm, decisions, decisions. Oh, look, they got some bigger ones down there. Let's go take a look down there. La la la, look at all the mums are in. Red mums. They got that ornamental one. What is that? What are these? Oh, these are guavas. Oh, so pretty. I love guavas. Okay, we're not here for tropical fruits. So these are more medium sized ones. These are $7.98. Orange mums. Chrysanthemums. <laughs> but who wants to say chrysanthemums when you can just say mum? So these are red. How beautiful is that, guys? Look at that. Ooh, I love when they look like this. They look like a little tater tot arborvitaes, don't it? I love when they look like this. So pretty. All right, so I just need to decide which ones to get. Let's see what else they have before I grab my cart. Pretty. Ooh, I actually have this grass. Should I make a container? I love looking at the garden center container arrangements. Because you get inspiration. So they got two different mums in here. They got the orange mum, the red mum, and the fountain grass. That's actually a very beautiful container. I like it. Very pretty. I might get bored if I have leftover plants and make my own little container. Who knows? We'll see. But I like that. I would do something like that for my garden. What else? More grass, shrubs. And you know you have to go to the back because sometimes they have the good plants hiding in the back that they didn't put out as yet. So, you remember that time I found the hydrangeas all the way in the back? Hiding that I was looking for. All right, so they don't have... Oh, we got some nice elephant ears. These are pretty and look how short they are. I have that mammoth one, so I you know I moved mines. But they're pretty. I like the compact version. That's nice. Pretty, pretty. All right. I think it's so funny seeing palm trees in the stores when they're like growing everywhere in Florida wild. <laughs> there go some um, mandevillas, shrubs. Okay, not what I'm looking for. And hibiscus, little crocus. Clarence, let's see what's in the clearance. Ooh, what's this green thing? Is this a, what's this? wasabi coleus that's pretty it looks like a, something to eat it doesn't look like a coleus but it's a green coleus it's a wasabi look at the elephant ears how pretty are those okay these are all on clearance let's see what the clearance sign says if the current price is two dollars it's a dollar 15 and up you get 50 percent off all right so let's see oh we got some mums over here I do not feel like trying to fight with the moms that bring them back to life. 
Oh, they got a rose. Oh, look at that. A beautiful yellow rose on Clarence. The Monrovia Lantanas, those are in Clarence as well. Okay, okay. What else they have on Clarence? Okay. Some orchids. Aw, the poor orchids. Y'all come get these orchids. They're looking all distressed. They need a home. Come save them. I think orchids are too finicky for me. <laughs> I don't have the patience because I'm not in the garden all the time. And it's an indoor plant. But look at these yellows. They're so pretty. All right. Let's see what else. So we don't have, like I said, I think I'm early for the shopping, for fall shopping, guys. I don't see that many fall plants out as yet. Of course, we got our deep ocean salvia, and there's a bee on it right there and my salvia has multiplied so I don't need another salvia right now but these are some fruit all right so I'm just gonna get the um I'm just going to get the mums oh look at this these are I love these. this is the um Persian shield. Look how big it is. It looks like coleus and it acts like coleus, especially when it comes to um, heat and cold. But look how pretty that is. I love purple flowers. I still haven't forgot about my other plants. I'm, I'm think I'm going to do these for next year. How pretty. All right, here you go another container. You guys know I love my container inspos. So they have the sun patience with the grass and this one, but different colors, sun patience. And if they had this red one, I would have gotten it. But I saw the pink. Wee! Oh wow! So, <laughs> I saw the pink one, so I'm gonna get the pink one. So we have. Oh, get away! I'm not touching your plant, wasps. Stop. So you have, these are plants that are inside of it. Alright, so I got my cart and I see these are $3.98. I really like the color and the texture. You guys know I love me some purples. Oh, it looks so flimsy. <laughs> it's like, do they all look like that? Are there any that's in the center that's not about to fall over? Oh, the roots are coming out. All right, so I'm just gonna get two because I've never planted them before, but I always see them in a garden center and I always like, oh, I like it. I may put them in my container if I really, really like it and I get inspired when I get home, I may come back and get more. But you guys know that I do my garden um, <laughs> designs whenever I come in the garden center. So I don't know what I'm going to do with my garden until I'm in the garden center to see what's available. Okay, so I think this one looks good. Alright, so we're going to go with these two. Alright, and now let's grab the mums. Those purple look so pretty, but don't get them so fully flowered because they're going to die faster <laughs> like these ones you get a longer life out of them but they're not open yet all right so that's pink i think i want to do yellow and red or say the yellow and orange that's orange now i'm trying to think which plant i already have hold on all right so that's what i got i got two of these these are 11 dollars so I'm gonna use these close to my um, ornamental kale whenever I do, those come in. But these are gonna be, I'm not sure if I wanna put them in the front or the back as yet. I, I'm thinking the back though, so that's that. So I got two of those. And I got all my mums. So I got the orange, not even yellow, I got end up getting the orange. And I got red. Now I'm thinking, should I have gotten the yellow? <laughs> 
Uh, and I ended up going with the medium size because the um, the small was too small. It was really tiny, so I ended up going with the medium size one. But I, I kind of want yellow now that I'm thinking about it. Mm, yellow and red or orange and red. You know what? I'll leave the orange and red, and then when I get the big mums, I'll get those yellow. I think that will work. So I ended up switching out the oranges and getting yellows. <laughs> so it's yellow and red. Look at that. It's a cart full of mums. With a sprinkle of color. The mums are colored, just not in bloom as yet. Alright, so this is what I got. And oh, if you remember, I already have stuff in my car, so hmm. We need to get this in here. Maybe I should have went home first, guys. <laughs> yikes, yikes, yikes. Um I'm going to move the hydrangea and put it in the front so we can have some space. We have problems, guys. <laughs> okay, I should have an extra container. And remember I was saying I keep a, a you can use a blanket or old curtain. This is an old curtain in your car. It's normally folded up neatly and tucked in the corner. These are all wet. So what's going to happen is all you see all the water on it? So because they were just watered and it's been raining for like two days now, it's going to leak out in the bottom and it's going to mess up your car. So hence the reason why my cloth is in there. All right, I'm going to try and squeeze them in. Since the one these are in um, paper cardboards, I may put these up front so I may get away with that. Actually, I can put these tiny ones in there. See, these will fit right in that little spot there. And I can move these. They're so flimsy. <laughs> but it looks so pretty. So I'm gonna move this boxes in the front and then I'm gonna try and squeeze these in there. Alright, so I got them to fit. Yeah, it's a sea full of mums, guys. I left the hydrangea in there. Oh no, my top part broke off. Okay, bend your leaves. Oh my goodness. Get under there, get under. We don't want no more damage. There you go. All the way under, please. Thank you. Alright, so all the mums are in. And in the back, I have the ones in paper and I had to put one of the mums down there. And over here, I'm going to have to close the door anyway, so let's go over there. Are the other ones. Do not go to two garden centers at the same day, guys. Especially if you're going to be buying stuff. It won't fit. And I have an SUV. Well, I have more space over here. Okay, so we got a good haul, guys. Look, Lowe's. Haha. <laughs> So I'm going to head home now and I'm going to get some things planted today. I still have energy to get stuff planted. So I think I want to definitely do the limelight hydrangea because those have been sitting there for like three months and I intentionally left them there for fall because in the fall time they get to um, do their roots and everything because in the summer it was triple digits. If you live in Florida, you know, it was really hot this summer and it's not like it's cool in the daytime no you wake up it's 90 degrees and it's 100 102 103 degrees throughout the rest of the day and we don't get sunset until like 8 30 p.m so it's literally hot all day and my hydrangeas that i currently have a home were struggling so i didn't put them in the ground i put them in a shady area a part shade it's like four hours of shade so but so i still wanted them to get some sun so they can get used to the hot sun and I'm pretty sure they're gonna have a reprieve because the location I'm putting them in is not as hot. So, yeah, they got acclimated to my garden, all right, where they are, where, where they were sitting. Because initially I had them over by where they were supposed to go, but the heat, even though they weren't getting baked to the sun, was making the leaves droop like it was bad. So I'm gonna do that, and maybe tomorrow the plants that I have now I will get planted because I've been doing a lot of if, if you see my previous video you know this has been fall planting and cleaning up get rid of all the burnt um damage and things that are done since the summer heat kicked in and I'm excited for this because this we're doing all our warmer colors and then after the fall then we'll transition into winter planting which not that many things we have our, our, our conifers or evergreens and the ornamental kale isn't the reason why I wanted them because they make a perfect um, transitional plant and they can go from I'm trying to help you and you still in the camera <laughs> so anyways 
they make a perfect um, transition plant because they do well throughout the winter. Like for my zone nine garden, they don't, um, the freeze doesn't impact them from what I've seen the last two years. So that's good. So that's why I wanted them because I, I really like how they look. They do, do add an extra pop to the garden. So I'm going to head on home now and I'll see you in the next video for my next plant. Who knows? I might get home and change my mind and plant them up. So see you next video, guys. Bye. Happy gardening. <laughs>